up here are the is how you make the PC legitly and over here is how you make a healer legitly so if you're gonna play legit you gotta need some diamonds unfortunately I don't recommend playing the regular I don't, I don't suggest playing uh, vanilla Minecraft I mean not vanilla Minecraft <laughs> play regular Minecraft but like with po Pokemobs don't play with survival because you can't get Pokeballs yet or at least I don't know how. Anyway, here's a crafting bench for Poke Checker. You're like, what? And here's a crafting thing for Pokedex. I mean, everyone knows what a Pokedex is, but a Poke Checker? What's that? And we go over to a Pokemon, and you can nickname it. Shloop. Let's go with that. And it tells you some stats about it. Back to game. And that's basically what the Poke Checker is. And. Um, <coughs> this is what the, this is, obviously, uh, the Pokedex, obviously, is an encyclopedia of all the made Pokemon, 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 for now, um, let's see. And those are those are the things for that <coughs> the crap. Anyway, yeah, you can pause it back there if you need to. Poke healer, the healer heals the Pokemon like I showed you, just like in a ta in a Poke Town. Whatever. Uh, PC, yeah. Over here. Here's, if you want to know how to make rare candies, here you go. If you want to know how to make potions, you get four for each time you do this. Here you go. Potions work just like in the game. They heal your Pokemon away from a Poke, Poke Healer. These were actually... No, I'll get back to those. Before I leave the platform, which is made out of sandstone. And you can notice my, se my sexy lucky sandstone right there. Anyway, here is a uh, chest of all the other items that were already in the game, but you can't craft them or anything. I don't know how you get them either. Um, well, yet. Orin bear. There's like three berries. These things. These are like the uh, newest version of these. You know, newest type. Anyway, the moonstone. I couldn't really find a Pokemon that could I could use it on. XP share. Uh, this works like an item. Same with the lucky egg. And I think the coal dust works like an item. See, there you go. I just gave him to it. Oh, yeah. Can't catch a Pokemon in Orion. See, and they can only hold one item at a time. Lucky egg. XP share. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Rare candy. Let's go with that. Um, yeah. So, the cool thing is, when they level up, they slowly get bigger. And, ev you know, every rare candy makes them level up. So you can have, like, a humongous Pikachu or something. Let's just get this right to obese level. Well, that's as far as it goes. Anyway, so, um, it looks like I'm done at, at the starting platform. Anyway, these are apparent, these were su apparently supposed to be stuff to help you out. See, um, this first one was supposed to be a hammer, which you use. This was supposed to be, a uh, anvil. Or some this was supposed to be an anvil. Use the hammer on the anvil uh to smush and you use these to smush these into uh, the bottom parts of Pokeballs. And then you use different apricorns uh to make the top parts of Pokeballs. Then you put a button in between the two the top bo and bottoms. 
and you get a Pokeball. Or Mass Ball, or whatever you want. Anything I'm missing? Nope. Ugh. Anyway, so let me show you a couple more things. There should be Pokemon trainers wandering about, so in this version. So that's something to look forward to. Although they only have like really low level Pokemon. Uh Pokemon wander all over this place and basically eat up Oh, there's one. See in this version of Pokemobs, you can uh, you can find wild trainers, you throw your Pokemon at them, and they'll have Pokemon to fight. Blast Burn. As you can see, my Charizard's all healed up and got his PP. <coughs> see that guy with the punk? And he went down like a chump. Oh yeah, your Pokemon teleport to you. Like dogs. Um, there's an Electrode over there. And let's... I don't think I'm missing anything right now. You know, other than, uh... You know, the proper Pokemon spawn in the proper places, like... Ground Pokemon in the desert. Uh, elect all the other types in... Forest. None in the snow biome yet. Like... Uh, see, because Flygon is originally, uh... Trap Inch, which is a ground Pokemon. Geodude, Rock, obviously. Diglett, and oddly a fire Pokemon, <coughs> Arbuck and Swamp, sort of makes sense, and then in the ocean bottom you'll have like all the water Pokemon, and here's a Gyarados, freaking big, also a neat tip is that you can actually stand on your Pokemon. See if I, uh, if I pull out my Raichu, I'll be able to stand on his head. See? Not touching the ground. See? He's like a block high or something. Yeah, block high. I'm standing in his face. Anyway, that can, on, here's, here's the secret tip. That can help you sneak into places that, like, People don't want you to be in servers, in Pixelmon servers. You can just hop on your Pokemon for an extra boost. Or make a Pokemon tower. Um. Let's. Uh. Oh, yeah, and I would have to say the best thing about the this mod is the servers that comes. that gets. With, Okay, to make a server with this, it's really easy, apparently. Like, no bucket involved is necessary. And the servers they make is beautiful. Although, not most of them are not complete, obviously. Um, yeah. Well, this concludes... Oh, yeah. Final thing is that... Pokemon do not spawn in nether or end. I've tried it multiple times. <coughs> if I'm wrong, I'll just slap myself. And feel bad about my life. And that seems to be the conclusion of this boring, extremely boring, uh, show through. And don't forget laggy. Showing a demonstration of Pixelmon, one of the best mods ever. This is Trufos from Sandstone Mines, standing out. Stay sexy.